Here and today I'm going to be doing a video on all the possible things um, that I've collected so far that we know is going to be included within the next updates of Castle Clash. It's the, the Halloween update, it's one of the big updates that Castle Clash tend to do to their game and there is a lot of stuff to cover in this, we're going to be including stuff we definitely know and some other stuff that are not confirmed for sure but look likely to appear in the next official version of the game. So the first images. Uh, we're getting some new evolution images, so basically, as you know, um, some of the heroes don't change at all when you um, evolution, uh, when they uh, go for the evolution process. Uh, some of these heroes include Ninja, Vlad and Pumpkin Duke. Well, this appears to be uh, what these heroes will look like when they've had an evolution, and well, Pumpkin Duke looks absolutely fucking amazing. Um, I wish they'd do a little bit more to Vlad in all honesty. But, um, you know, it, it looks pretty cool. Um, now, this this is part of the Guild Wars update. Now, I must mention at this point that this, the Guild Wars update will not be coming until the update after this one. Uh, because it's uh, quite a lot quite a lot to uh, process in. But, um, it's, it's, I think it's going through beta testing or something like that. It's not quite finished yet. But this is basically what the, uh, the Guild Wars will be doing. You basically set an attack team and a defense team. Uh, you can see your heroes that you're putting in and the talents that they have, which I think is a very, very handy feature. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether this will work exactly the same as, uh, as it does in uh, the Clash of Clans game. Uh, we're not entirely sure. We haven't had loads of info on it, so um, if I do get any more info on any of this stuff, I will let you guys know in the quickest of time. Uh, again, that's just another image of it there, just showing you, you know, what it will look like when you're setting up your teams for the Guild Wars. Um, I'm glad there's another event coming finally that will be very, very good. Again, it expands more to the game, which I believe makes it more better than um, Clash of Clans, but uh, whatever, I'm not an expert. Um, just some more images about what uh, some of the heroes will look like when they've had an evolution. This is what Vlad will look like. Um, sorry for the low quality image on this one, I'm not entirely sure why, but um, it does look pretty cool. Mm, slightly underwhelming considering it's Vlad. I mean, Vlad's an amazing hero, so I wish I did a little bit more to it. A bit like Maltanica, because Maltanica just looks absolutely sick. Um, again, that's just a confirmation of the, uh, the Guild Wars that we're going to be getting soon. Um, now, this is what some of the heroes will. This is uh, what uh, Dread Drake. Um, will look like when it's had an evolution and I actually like the colour scheme they use for this one, the whole blue on the red I actually think that looks very very good and um, very much worthy of what it should look like as an evolution, I mean if I was going to make an evolution of something it definitely has to look sick and uh, that is definitely hitting the mark there so some good stuff there, again that's going to be coming soon again just some more images here, the same sort of stuff uh, this is what uh, Ninja will apparently look like <laughs> when uh, Evolution, and well, it looks a little bit pissed off, don't you think? <laughs> I'd be a little bit pissed off too if I was as underused as what, what Ninja is now. But, um, you know, again, that's just another change to the Evolutions, which is good, that's what I like to see. Um, now, this is something that will possibly be included within one of the next updates, where it looks like we're going to be getting a Shard Farmable Hero. Um, <clears throat> now, one of these is either a Shard or a Gem Hero. They sound roughly the same, so again, I'll, gush, I'll just go through these. Apparently, it'll be available within 20,000 Shards. It's supposed to be a replacement to Druid. Um, it's a skill called Blood Frenzy. It looks very, very similar to... Um, let me have a read of this actually. Level 1. Using his vampiric aura, Dracula heals one friendly unit. Global by... Um, global. Hmm. I'm assuming that means across the map or something. It's not a limited area. I don't know. Uh, by 200% of Dracula's attack and giving them a 1% bonus attack, attack rate and movement speed for 5 seconds. Um, that sounds pretty cool actually. I quite like that. Uh, at level 5. Heals 5 friendly units. Um... 
by 280% of the Dracul's attack and giving the 9% bonus attack, attack rate and movement speed. So uh, that's pretty cool, it's a nice little buff there at the end. Uh, it sounds like a very, very cool skill and be a nice, um, be a nice replacement to uh, Druid, definitely. Uh, now this is something else that will be coming in soon. Uh, obviously we have the dungeon sweeping, now I'll be able to get the, um, the Hebe monsters sweeping. Um, I'm assuming the way they're going to balance this is basically you'll probably get like more sort of resources instead of XP or something like that. I don't, or maybe you'll get just less of each. Um, because I, I'm, I'm almost certain that through the uh, through the sweeping of the dungeons, you're less likely to get shards. I think to me that would make sense because people are just going to buy chuffing um, dungeon cards and spam it all day if they were <laughs> if it works otherwise so uh heavy monster sweeping um will be coming soon oh that will be a godsend to those that i, I haven't got much time in the hands because um heavy monsters can take quite a while uh it can take a good uh five minutes per run maybe even more than that occasionally so um that, that's very very welcome news to those that obviously don't have a lot of time on their hands. Um, now I'll be showing you exactly what that hero will be in a little bit. That's just one of the teaser images that was shown. Saying what hero will be coming next. Um, now this is the new loading screen which um, is apparently going to be appearing for the Halloween update. Um, it looks very very cool. I like the graphics they used on this. It looks very very nice. Um, I get this base looks fairly similar to what they used on sort of all um, the not autumn time sorry um, it's very similar to what they're using the dungeons um, but it looks pretty cool I quite like the look of it as long as the graphics look nice and that, to be honest that's all I'm bothered about um, now this ladies and gentlemen is the new hero that's supposed to be coming out soon um, now it looks appears to be some sort of cyclops based creature but this is the one that I believe um, is the one sort of going to be a big replacement to Druid. Um, now I'm loving the blue sort of colour scheme. If it keeps that kind of blue colour scheme, then this will look really, really sick. Um, and obviously, this is um, a few things that will be included. Obviously, we've got some blessed tomes. We're going to get a blessed tome free. Uh, one of these books will have 2 million hero um, XP. How about that? That will be a, a massive um, help to those that are levelling up their heroes. I haven't actually yet put any evolutions on my heroes yet. That's how far behind I am. Um, and again, they've added something to the Mastery Essence. So um, they've added the Mastery Essence free. Uh, this will grant 150,000 skill XP when used, which is a hell of a lot. Uh, that will really help out, again, at the lower end of those people that are trying to level up their heroes to a much better level. Um, now this is one of the uh, heroes that uh, again is supposed to be coming soon. It's supposed to be called Serapim. As a healer and legendary, is flying, and apparently he's one of the gem rolling based heroes. <clears throat> uh, now he has a level eight berserk included as well. Uh, his attack speed is two thousand and forty. That's the way they've balanced it basically. So it turns out to be a twelve hundred with its level eight berserk. And this is the actual stats of which this hero will have. Um, now this is of one of these obviously shard, one of these is gem, we're not sure which is which as per yet. But uh, at level 1 grants invul invulnerable... In I can't talk a minute. Invulnerability. <laughs> I can't speak that, I can't say that word, I hate that word. Uh, to one ally is to stun for one second. Restores the HP of three allies by 125%, and these has a chance to restore HP of all nearby allies, allies by 20% of its attack for one second every 0.2 of a second. One second cooldown, level 8 berserk included. That is a mouthful. <laughs> um, so it restores three allies by 125% of its attack. And this has a chance, these has a chance to restore HP of all nearby allies by 20% of its attack. For one second, every point. I'm not sure what to make of that explanation of his skill. I'm not. I don't really know what that means. But I'm assuming, based on that, it, you've got a percentage um, chance of being able to heal all of the here, all of your allies by a certain amount of your attack of the hero. Um, that's what based off that, and it sounds really, really good actually, because um, at level f uh, at level six. 
just six allies, and it goes up one ally per skill um, for the allies as such. But it also restores the HP uh, when it gets to level seven. This skill restores the HP of nine allies by 275% of its attack. So this would be a very, very good hero. And um, like I said, I'm hoping they'll be bringing these soon. It'd be very nice to see another shard farm or hero coming soon. Uh, and finally, this is basically just what will be added in the next update altogether. So you'll have your HPM sweeping, which you know, that's basically equivalent to dungeon sweeping where you'll just save time. You just press a button, bam, bam, easy. New slimes, again, we've gone through that. New gem purchase rewards. Uh, I believe there's be some tomes or some like level five talent refresh cards in there or something like that, I don't know. Um, a Vlad statue as a decoration, that'd be pretty cool. Um, number five, evolution available for new heroes. Again, there's some new designs for the evolutions, which is nice to see. Uh, evolution skins for all legends. So again, all of the legends will now have the, a different look when you um, evolution them, which is very, very good. That's what I like to see. There'll be a new hero added called Golem. I'm not sure whether this is the gem or the um, the shard on here. I think this is going to be the gem only one. Um, purchase heroes will be added as cards in the warehouse. Uh, okay, so when you buy heroes with shards, you, they'll come up as a hero card in your warehouse. Uh, after selling warehouse items, warehouse window will not pop up, pop up on top. Uh, yeah, that's very, very useful. I know how annoying that is. Uh, players can now select HBM and HT stages in advance. Um, not too sure what that is. I'll have a look at that later. Uh, simplified crest and inscription process. Um, it can get a little bit frustrating how difficult that is to work sometimes. So, uh, very glad to see that. Uh, amount of XP in box in warehouse is. Um, is it caught up here? In warehouse is increased to four, price unchanged. Um. Right, okay. That's, so I think we're getting another XP box, basically. It's not massive news, really. And finally, Ordinary Crest Bag is renamed Premium Crest Bag and Rare Crest Bag as Deluxe Crest Bag Mythic Unchanged. Uh, there will be no Guild Wars in the next update. <laughs> so that is pretty much everything. There was a, There's a lot coming in this next update. I cannot wait. I will be playing the hell out of this. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments section below. Um, just let me know what you think of this guys this has been Androx here from Havoc and Mayhem and until the next time I'm out of here, peace out yeah.